In this presentation, we will be discussing the act of breathing. We will be talking about what breathing is, types of breathing, and the muscles involved with inspiration and expiration. We will begin by talking about what breathing is. Breathing is a process needed to supply the cells of the body with the oxygen necessary to sustain life. This involves the respiratory system, which is mainly the lungs and muscles that helps with the breathing process. Now we will talk about the two types of breathing. Breathing is a process that consists of two phases. Inspiration involves flow of air into the lungs, causing them to expand. And expiration involves expelling air out of the lungs, causing them to compress. We will begin by looking at the muscles involved in inspiration. Overall, there are two types of inspiration, passive and active. We will begin by looking at passive inspiration. This kind of inspiration requires no conscious effort, and we do this most of the time. In terms of the muscles involved, there are the external intercostal muscles. Now, if we look at the word intercostal, we can break it up into two. Inter means between, and costal means the ribs. Therefore, as the name suggests, the external intercostal muscles are the muscles between the ribs. The next muscle we will look at is the diaphragm. It's a wide but thin muscle located around the lower rib cage. During inspiration, the external intercostal muscles help to pull the ribs up and expand the chest while the diaphragm contracts to increase the lung volume. The diaphragm is the predominant muscle involved in inspiration, whereas the external intercostal muscles just help to expand the chest. Now, we will be talking about the muscles of active inspiration. On this side, we can see all of the muscles involved in active inspiration. You may recognize the external intercostal muscles and the diaphragm mentioned during passive inspiration. You may also notice that there's a new group of muscles around the neck. We call these the accessory muscles. You can think of accessory muscles like how you would think of fashion accessories. On a day-to-day -day basis, you may wear a regular outfit, but on special occasions, you may want to add accessories to spruce it up. You may choose to add in a pair of earrings, a bracelet, or even a nice belt for the gentleman. These accessory muscles work the same way. You have your muscles of passive inspiration, but you, when you want to take in a deeper breath, you recruit these active inspiration accessory muscles. Now let's take a look at these muscles a little bit further. On the left side, we can see the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and on the right side, we can see the scalene muscles. Now, whenever you think about functions of muscles, it's always nice to look at structure. On this next slide, we can see that both of these groups of muscles are attached to the ribs. Therefore, when these muscles contract, they pull the rib cage up and out and expand the chest to increase lung volume. We are now going to do a breathing exercise. As seen in the photo, put one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. If you breathe normally, you should only feel the hand on your stomach move. This is because when you're breathing at rest, the diaphragm is the primary muscle that is involved. However, if you take in a deeper breath, you should feel the hand on your chest move. This is because the intercostal muscles and neck muscles are now working together to enlarge your chest for more lung expansion. We will now look at the muscles of expiration. Just like inspiration, there are two types of expiration, both passive and active. We will start by looking at passive expiration. For passive expiration, the air exits the lungs without direct muscle effort. This is due to the recoiling effect of elastic tissues present in the lungs and diaphragm. Think of the lungs as a balloon that's deflating and how minimal effort is needed to remove the air from it. We will now look at active expiration. For active expiration, think about blowing out a candle. You have three main muscles in this process, the abdominal muscles, the diaphragm, and the internal intercostal muscles. The abdominal muscle will contract while the diaphragm relaxes, forcing the lungs to decrease in volume. 
The internal intercostal muscle will also contract to force more pressure on the lungs to release air. To summarize, we talked about alternating cycles of inspiration and expiration and how both can either be passive or active. We also talked about the muscles involved in the breathing process that provide the body with necessary oxygen. In our next presentation, we will be talking about lung volume.